What is going on guys, Pasco Show here, back with another challenges video. I'm gonna do a request today, someone asked me to do stage 15, this uh, dungeon stage here at the top, and also stage 14 of the Soul Cross on hard mode, okay? On my last video, at the start I asked if someone needs a help with S14, S18, S19, and if they need help to leave me a comment and uh, ask me which stage you want me to do, so this guy needs to do S14, but also he asked me to do S15. So I'm gonna start with uh, S15 because I don't have to do any Rigiri matting for this stage. And then in a separate video, I'm gonna do S14, but I have to probably change some gears on these champions. Or maybe not, we will see. So these are the champions that I use for stage 15, the double boss. And uh, don't panic, you don't have to use uh, all these champions. But what I think is mandatory for this strategy is probably Ninja has a damage dealers and also he plays HP burn and the boss, the frozen spider can only die if he has uh, HP burn. So you need a champion that plays HP burn. But there are other options if you don't have uh, a Ninja for HP burn, like you can use this epic, God loss is very good, but everybody should have Ninja because uh, Plarium gave us Ninja again to all the people that need to have him, so you should have Ninja, I really hope so. And then I'm using Ramantu, because Ramantu is the only champion here that can place decrease speed, and he also does a quad hit, in case you need this uh, for hit on the shield, but you should keep this skill, because you wanna actually do it on the boss and place the decrease speed, and in this way, you're gonna be able to open the shield every time the boss closes the shield. That's why we're using Ramantu, and then another champion that I think is mandatory is gonna be Zinog, and the reason why is because all these skills hit uh, three times or even more, four times. And very important, she plays this increased speed as well, so it's gonna give you the time to get, uh, you know, two turns for every one turn of the boss, and you're gonna be able to open up the shield. Now, if you don't have Zinogre, you need to basically boost your speed of your champion, so you need to regear all these champions fast and i'm talking about fast like almost uh, 300 speed so you have to be around 280 if you have the bonus area max out with plus 20 speed there are other options for increased speed but uh, um i think it's only actually marshall and the marshall only attack once the enemy so it's gonna be hard to keep up and open up the shield so i think Zinogre is a mass and it was a fusion so hopefully you guys have her you don't need Carnage at all, okay? I just put Carnage because um, he's cool. I'm gonna show you a replacement for Carnage. Let me talk about uh, this epic here that has a special blessing. It's the blessing that when you put increased defense and an enemy attack you, you're gonna reflect damage. So if we place this increased defense on everybody and the boss, uh, the Fire Knight attack us, he's gonna proc five hit on the shield at the start. And that's amazing, you know? Because I think this boss has 13 ticks, so I think it's gonna go down to 8. But I'm gonna show you in the run anyway, and you don't need him at 6 star at all. You only need 1 star. Now, if you don't have him, you need to go for other option, and I think the best option is gonna be this champion. It's probably even better because he does the same skill, ally protection plus increased defense, and he also plays uh, HP burn, AoE. So if you have this champion, use him. And if you don't have neither of them, you need to probably use this champion. Because he has a here on this skill. But if you don't want to run a champion with this blessing, because maybe you don't have the blessing, you need to place a multi hitter champion here. And I'm going to show you some options. So very strong will be a champion like Sija, a champion like Alur. Even Loshadar is very, very good. And Harvey Jacks as well. He has a, a one with a triple hit. So there are many, many options, but there are options. But I'm gonna use Carnage. The only reason is that uh, I have Carnage with uh, 2,300 defense already, and you need uh, to have your champion, all the champion, with 2,500 defense at least. It's very important so you don't dash it away from the boss. So let me show you the run first, and then I'll show you the gear. So the strategy is basically that um, uh, we need to kill the spider first. So how are we gonna do this? So you're not gonna do this skill now on the on this boss because when you place decrease defense and this uh, little spider is alive, he's gonna cleanse the uh, decrease defense and he's gonna place increased defense on the boss. So we're gonna wait. We're just gonna do this one. 
and now we're gonna do this kill uh keep in mind uh, xenogre is not fully booked he doesn't have books at all so i'm just gonna do this kill and try to place the decrease attack on this boss okay we did a land there and we got the freeze now this might be annoying freezes if you get a lot of freezes you need to start it again i'm gonna do this okay we need a land hp burn here very unlucky actually i'm gonna restart that was a very bad start so we need to try a few times you need to land those um, debuff decrease attack oh, i keep missing the decrease attack let's see hp burn okay we land the hp burn here actually i'm gonna start it again i want to make sure i land the hp burn on the boss without using the um spread the hp burn from carnage so we need to land the decrease attack okay perfect we land i think i don't even have enough accuracy to be honest uh now let's see if we can hit the boss we got resisted because i have a little accuracy on these uh, champions uh, let me see if i can extend with him okay so i stand with um carnage but let's pretend that was ninja the land hp burn okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna protect our team with um the ally protection we're gonna do this the boss is gonna attack us and he's gonna put all this nasty debuff on us okay and then this boss is gonna attack us you you can't get all like uh freezes so very very important guys don't if you get freezes a lot just restart and then we have to kill these minions here so i'm gonna do it with uh with with him let's see okay perfect i'm doing a lot of damage but you know if you had uh, her available just attack you know with ninja with xenogre so you do maybe like you know in two turns you can take down the boss now i'm gonna do this hopefully i don't get the freeze okay perfect i didn't get the freeze let's try to land the decrease attack with him i probably don't even have a lot of um um accuracy on him to be honest and what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna use this skill on this boss so i'm gonna put the increased speed on me and a very good thing about uh Jarek, the epic laser band is that when a champion gets hit very hard you get the continuous heals so it's very very good so now there is no more minions i'm gonna attack this boss hopefully i can oh my god <laughs> i placed three hit on the on the fire knight uh, i got the extra third because i got merciless so i'm gonna do a one here and with him i'm gonna change four now because i want to start doing some damage i'm gonna do the one and uh, just uh, attacking this uh, this enemy now we have to try and kill him as quick as possible reduce attack it didn't work let me do this one okay i'll go freeze and i think i skipped my turn my champions are dying because um i shouldn't be in this position i should do i should do i should already kill this boss Okay, we got a counter there and that's it actually i need to kill it with the hp burn can i land the hp burn okay no i didn't land the hp burn okay let me start it again but this is what you have to do basically and when you see my stats you know that this is not gonna be impossible because i don't have super fast champion in this strategy i think jarek is at 204 speed and ramanto is probably 280 speed so i didn't regear this champion for this I probably should. I should like boost the um, accuracy of my champion so I can land those debuff. Okay, we land the HP burn. Perfect. I'm gonna switch him straight away. Okay, and then uh, you know you need to kill those champions. So if you have a single target champion or a champion like C sharp trying to kill those two champions, I'm gonna use this skill. You know because he hits uh, kind of hard, and uh, yeah, he's AOE. I got the decrease attack now. Perfect. Actually, I forgot. I should have placed the. I should have placed the <laughs> ally protection. I forgot. Uh, I got freezes. Three champion freeze. I think this is a loss. Let me try and protect them now. Let's see what happened. Okay, we're getting the counter. I'm gonna kill this one. The Farna is gonna attack us. The ally protection is give us a lot of protection. So now I'm gonna just do a one. I'm gonna keep the skill for the Fire Knight, the A2. I'm gonna do a one here trying to kill this boss as quick as possible 
a one. Okay, we get his mech again. And now we need to kill the boss, uh, this boss now, because other, I mean, in this rotation, because we can't, we can't get hit more. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, close. Okay, one. We're not doing too bad. I got two turns before I can put the ally protection again. Uh, I'm gonna do this kill. Okay, that's it. The first boss is down, and now he's about killing this guy so what we're gonna do um we're gonna do uh, we have to open the shield basically i'm gonna do this because i want to boost the speed of my champion now i need to make sure jared gets another turn i'm gonna just do a one i'm gonna keep the a2 for when i open the shield i need another turn with jarek hopefully nobody's gonna die hopefully let's see I managed to open the shield up this weekend. That's very good. And I'm actually going to place the decrease speed now. Okay, perfect. So hopefully nobody dies. Nobody die. Amazing. I think we are good now. Because we have uh, everything that we need. Uh, I'm going to keep this one for later. Because I still got a chance to go back around with my skills. I'm going to do this day one. And then next one I'm going to place the decrease attack in case I have to. Uh, I'm gonna do this HP burn. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do the lab protection now in case this boss gets a turn now. Okay, a lot of damage from Carnage and decrease attack. Once you open this uh, the 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 shield, this boss uh, is not tanky, guys. It's not super tanky. I'm doing a lot of damage, but even if you don't have this blessing, uh, you can do damage. Trust me. Okay, so. So this is the final report. I actually did my best time, three million twenty-three seconds, and I did five uh, uh, turn extra compared to my previous uh, record that was fifty. So I did pretty good. Uh, Ninja did a lot of damage, probably from the HP board, but also the Sister Blessing helped a lot. Carnage was doing uh, eighty thousand, seventy thousand uh, hit with uh, his A one, and Zinoga was doing uh, decent damage as well, cause he hit four times. And he has a five star blessing, but she's not built for damage. I'm actually gonna show you the build right now. Like I mentioned, this champion, this is the gear that they have regularly. I didn't touch any build. If I wanna do this more consistently, I should change some bit. I should make my team faster and also boost the accuracy of some of the champions. They have very low accuracy. So this is the build of Carnage. I build him for uh, Live Arena, and these are the total stats. So we have. Um, 257 speed after the 20 speed from the area bonus we had enough accuracy on him even though uh we didn't we didn't use the accuracy much and we have over 2000 defense it's so important to have over 2000 defense you see how low i went at one point and the only way you can survive if you have like more than 2000 defense I use the best form more, and with the uh, with the best form you lose defense. Okay, so I had two thousand. But if I wanted to do this properly, all I have to do is drop uh, the attack chest and just put a defense chest just for this boss, so you don't die straight away. I have also very little HP, so this is probably the base uh, line in terms of HP and defense that you can have on this champion. So make sure you don't lower than that, or you're not gonna survive. This is the build on Ninja. You don't have to build it like that. I suggest you to build him tanky. Crit cap him, get 100% critical rate and try to get around 200 critical damage and then focus on HP, defense phase and then go on attack and boost his speed. I have uh, 248 plus 20, 268. And you see how I have uh, little accuracy. You need to boost this to around 400, I think, if you want to land those HP burn regularly. Now I'm going to show you the build on Zinoga. This is the build that I had on her. One set of speed, one set of perception, one set of immortal. Nothing special. These are the total stats on her. We had 280 speed, so 260, and then 99% critical rate, uh, 274 critical damage. And then I boost the HP to 50,000 and the defense to 2,500. And I had... Uh, as much attack I could get after warring first of the HP and the defense and uh, accuracy at 271.
We also had um, Raman to as the aura, so we get the plus 80 accuracy aura, so that was super important. Um, Ramantu is built for Arena, so he's quite tanky, he has 60,000 HP, 2,000 defense, and then he's the fastest at uh, 272 plus 20 is 292, and then I have a lot of accuracy, so I have no issue landing the debuff with him. And last one is uh, Jarek, I had him with the Stowell set, he's very slow, uh, 204 speed, 224 with the bonuses and then I just worry about HP and defense on him and I had very little accuracy if you if you can boost his accuracy so you land the degrees attack with him as well and you're gonna have a easy time so this is how I did it guys you need to kill the frozen spider first but before you land the decrease defense on him you need to kill this uh, the two little spiders so make sure you do that first uh, if you don't have Carnage yet, use all the champions that do triple hit. So you can use him, maybe you can use him in his bolster set or shield set. Even shield that is fine, even though the Frozen Spider strip your buff. So if you have the base shield set, that shield might get stripped. So it would be better if you have bolster set, but you have to pay for the bolster set from the Forge Pass. So it's not mandatory. I didn't use any bolster set here. Uh, you can use Sicha, you can use Los Shazal. Make sure you build them with 2,500 defense. I can't say this enough. You need to build those champions tanky. I did it without building too much tankiness and succeed. If you want to succeed like with like a 90% success, just build them properly. Fast with a lot of defense HP, but also creep cap them and keep attacking those bosses every time you can so if you get a lot of freezes just restart the run there are runs that i did where i didn't even get one freeze on my champion and i killed this boss very very quickly if you're gonna use uh, this champion here they can boost your turbine plus the increase defense drop him and place uh, uh toraji okay even a uh, one star toraji is fine uh, it's gonna protect your team a lot guys a lot it's gonna place a shield and ally protection your team will never die but if you build this champion with you know 300 speed and more you can boost your turn meter so you can enable the champion to go more often so it's gonna be almost the same thing that i just did okay and another champion that i want to mention is um blood gorge uh, i haven't used him but uh, you can probably use him as well because he has a double hit on day one and he also has a block revive. So if you don't want to use HP bird, you can try and kill it with this skill. And the big spider won't uh, revive himself. So you could use him too if you have a high blessing on him. But also keep in mind that if you don't use Jarek, you're going to miss out the continuous seal. So this is going to be a big loss. Consider maybe to build your champion regeneration as well. Boss the regeneration. Slap some immortal pieces so you can get healed back. Uh, and you should be fine. You see that once uh, the frozen spider was uh, dead, I survived with little HP because the Fire Knight doesn't hit that hard and he only takes like two or three cycles to kill the Fire Knight once you land the good speed on him. So guys, that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any question. Let me know if you guys need help with other stages. I'm gonna drop the um, video of the next stage, stage 14. So stay tuned for that. Take care of yourself and I'll catch you soon with another video. See ya.